Hey guys, this is a fun one. We got a repeating decimal, a really long repeating decimal to the power of negative one. If you're gonna try this on your own, pause it because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First step, let's rewrite this as a fraction. The way repeating decimals convert to fractions is it's gonna be over nine, and the number of nines is the same as the number of digits that are repeating. For the numerator, we're gonna copy down all the digits that repeat. And then for the denominator, we need a nine for each of those digits. And now we've rewritten it as a fraction. How to deal with this negative one exponent, we can just take the reciprocal of this fraction. We can put all the nines on top and put this thing on bottom. And now it's no longer to the negative one exponent. Now we just gotta simplify this fraction. Both of these numbers have 11 in common, so we can divide top and bottom by 11. On top we have this right here, and on bottom we have this right here. So now top and bottom are both gonna be divisible by 4,093. And that's gonna give us this fraction right here. And next I think we can divide both by 8,779. And that's gonna give us this number right here. But next I think we can divide by 21,649. And that gives us this number right here. So next, I think we can divide by 513,239. And now 2,277 divided by 33 is equal to 69. Nice. So this repeating decimal to the negative one exponent is equal to 69. Let's put a box around it. How exciting.